Hey guys, welcome to my video. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to create a pop-up in your WordPress website. So the first thing obviously that you need to do is log in to the backend of your website using your username and password and go to the admin panel of your website. Here, we need to install a new plugin, so therefore we're gonna go to plugins and then click on add new. On the search bar on the right top corner, we're gonna look for pop-up maker. I believe that's supposed to be the first result on the left, which it is. This is the plugin that we need, so we're gonna click on uh, install now. We're gonna wait a few seconds and when it's all finished to install, we're gonna activate the plugin. We're gonna wait a few seconds for the, for the plugin to be active. And when it's active and ready to go, we're gonna click on all pop-ups on the left menu under pop-up maker so we'll go there right now pop-up maker and then all pop-ups all right we're already in that window so we have no pop-ups we need to create one by clicking on add pop-up on the top here we're gonna give it a name for our for our purpose so here we're gonna give it a name for our purpose so don't overthink about it just give it a name that you will be able to recognize it. I'm gonna call it opt-in form and in the pop-up title I'm gonna write please subscribe because I would like to collect leads. Alright, that's the purpose of my pop-up right now. In the text box I'm gonna uh, enter my uh, opt-in form shortcode. Uh, I use a, a plugin to display my, my uh, opt-in form. If you have a different plugin you can use any shortcode you would like or if you just want to write a text over there, you can do whatever you want. It does accept shortcodes, which is really great. Alright, now on the, right, uh, on the right box, on the condition box, you can decide on what pages the pop-up will be available. If you keep it unselected, it will be available on every and each of the pages, which is great. But if you want to decide that you only want it to be available on blog post, you can decide it, or on specific page, that's cool. Alright, I keep it unselected. I'm gonna scroll down and here under, under trigger I'm gonna uh, choose auto auto trigger. I'm gonna set it up for 5 seconds so I would like the pop-up to appear automatically after, uh, after 5 seconds. You can always add more triggers or if you would like to trigger the pop-up by a click of a button and not but by out of time that's also possible just click on add new trigger that's it. Alright, so in the cookie section you can decide uh, for how long the cookie going to stay in the user browser uh, before he going to see the pop-up again. Alright, so I'm gonna choose on pop-up close and here I can decide for how long the user not going to see the pop-up after he close it. Alright, so I'm going to change it from one month to one day because I would like the user to see the pop-up again if he will come back tomorrow. I think one month is way too much and one day is definitely enough because I do want the user to come back tomorrow and see the pop-up again. Make sure that the site-wide cookie is checked and click add. Alright, so we're done with the cookie. Now we're gonna go to the display settings. The default is medium 60%. I like it the way it is. You can decide to change it but I'm gonna keep it that way. Now if you don't like the pop-up uh, to be covered with overlay you can just check this box but I like the overlay so I'm uncheck this box I'm just gonna keep it the way it is and here on the bottom I would like to check the position to be fixed so the pop-up will scroll down with the with the user if you scroll down or up the pop-up will follow him and he will see it on the screen wherever he go which is excellent so I'm gonna check this box for sure all the other things you can leave the rest here on the close uh, message you can write close I like just to mark as X so they can click on it and exit that's excellent for me and this is what I want now this is ready to go you can click on publish and we can see the results uh, in our website when we're going to let's say for the contact us page you will see that the pop-up will appear after five seconds just like that really nice really classy I really like this plugin now, I would like to show you another way how to trigger the pop-up and that's by click of a button, alright? So this is 
very good if you have a button that you would like people to push on and they will see the pop-up so go back to all pop-ups and here you can see that the CSS class is attached to the pop-up that we just made alright so we're gonna copy this class we're gonna go to a page where we have a button as you, as you can see I have a, a, a tag here that I'm going to give in the same class as the pop-up and I'm gonna click on update now whenever someone clicking on this uh, A button on this click here button he will trigger the pop-up and the pop-up will be displayed